Okay, get your interval timers ready. We're going to be starting in three seconds to one. First exercise, push-up, jump squat. So you're going to take the bag, cling it, jump it, back down for a push-up. You're going to be working for 50 seconds here. When you're jumping up, just make sure your weight's in your heels, your knees not past your toes. Make sure that you're having a good rhythm and you're jumping. You're exploding as high as you can get. Just make sure that you're really jumping up, getting right down into the low squat and in your push-up, just make sure that you're going as fast as you can, really exploding up. If you can't do a full push-up, you can always do these push-ups down on your knees. And if you can't do the squat, that's okay. You can just do a regular body squat. So we've got 10 seconds, really push towards the end. We got eight, seven, push all the way, four, three, two, one. All right, next exercise, we've got agility jump. So you're gonna be breathing, your breathing's gonna be a little bit heavy. You got 10 seconds here. We're gonna be doing this with the bag. You don't have to do this with weight, but if you want a good challenge, use something that's weighted. The bag is awesome for this. So you're gonna be picking it up, you're gonna be throwing it over your opposite shoulder. Now when you're jumping side to side, try to get your knee up as high as you can. Try to keep your back nice and straight, right up and right over so you want to explode as far as you can right to the opposite side if you don't have a weight that's perfectly okay you can use body weight you should start to be feeling pretty breathless at this point keep your head up core on and when you're going right down to your squat there just make sure that you're picking the bag up with your legs and not rounding your back so you don't want to round your back when you're doing this and you run a really push right to the end so we got seven six five seconds come on push right to the end three two one awesome next exercise tricep dip so we're getting our equalizer bars for this one you're going to be using both of them and you're going to be putting your feet up on one there we go one part of the bar and you're going to be holding yourself up with the other so you're going to be right down and right up if you don't have the equalizer bars no problem you can use a chair if you want to make this tougher for the dips, just make sure that you're extending your legs as far out as you can if you are using a chair. For this one, try not to put too much stress on the shoulder. You want to keep your elbows in tight. Keep them in tight as tight as you can so they're not flaring out so you really isolate the tricep. When you get tired, your elbows are going to tend to flare out a little bit. Just take a second, regroup, and bring them back in so you're getting the maximum out of this exercise really bang this out right up right down we got five seconds four three we're almost done two last one good running mans all right so we got six seconds yes i said six now we got three now we got two one equalizer so you're going to flip it down you're going to go knee to elbow if you don't have an equalizer you can do this right off the floor that's not a problem or if you have something around the house that will act as something as an incline that will be perfect as well you want to get knee right to elbow you want to extend as far as you can back with that back leg and you really want to be firing it up as quick as as you can we got 25 seconds you should be breathing really heavy at this point you're going to feel this in your shoulders and your arms and your core so the key for this is really to drive that knee right to elbow if you can't get it to the elbow not a problem just get it up as far as you can we're almost done this exercise we got five seconds four three two one awesome take a break if you need one because this next exercise is tough we got a push up with a half burpee this exercise is super tough so the hardest part about this exercise is getting your feet up underneath you and for your feet to clear the bar so if you can't get both feet to clear the bar that's not a problem just do one leg at a time you're also going to feel that in your core when you do that push right up as quick as you can and hop those feet up underneath you if you need to take a break in between don't worry about it just get through as many as you can and really just focus on your form your shoulders are going to be burning in this one if you don't have the bars that's not a problem you can do this right off the floor but just make sure that you're completing this exercise we're almost done we're almost to the finish line fifth exercise 10 seconds to go we got eight push right to the end breathing's tough five four almost there don't quit last one 
There we go. Hit replay two more times and get through this workout. <laughs> 